I am uh, William Oakley. I'm a retired detective sergeant with the West Haven Police Department. Uh, police work is a, a very challenging career. I was once told by one of my uh, FTOs, who's a field training officer, that police work is 97% boredom and and 3% uh, of it, just heart-pounding excitement. Um, basically what you have to do as a police officer and what our job is as a police officer is to protect the public. And we do this in uh, numerous ways. Uh, we do this through patrol work, through uh, education, and you can do it through uh, crime prevention. Um, we try to, uh, as a patrol officer, you patrol the streets and uh, just keep the people safe. Uh, my career path, I started in patrol division, which is where everybody starts. Uh, from patrol division, I went to the traffic division. From the traffic division, I went to the detective division. Um, in the patrol division, I was responsible for covering my beat, um, for answering calls of service, um, doing traffic stops, and doing other self-initiated calls if I saw any suspicious activity, and just going and investigating that. Uh, after my patrol work, I was uh, put in the traffic division. In the traffic division, I was uh, in charge of the fleet. Uh, we handled all the maintenance of the vehicles. Um, we made sure everything was working properly. And we also uh, did uh, traffic uh, enforcement. We did roadblocks, DUI roadblocks. Um, we did uh, license checks. We did seatbelt checks. Uh, we also had an accident reconstruction team, which we handled all the major accidents that happened. If there was any serious injury, We'd go out, our team of uh, four to five people will go out and investigate the accident. Um, from that, I went on to the detective division. I was in the crime scene unit. Um, I uh, worked in the crime scene unit for about seven years. Uh, in the crime scene unit, we did a uh, fingerprint analysis. We processed crime scenes. Um, we photographed. Uh, we just basically took over the whole crime scene and diagrammed it and got it ready for court. Um, now the other, now that was my career path. For others, a career path might be um, they want to move up in rank. I had no intention, I always wanted to be a detective, that was my goal. Um, but other people want to move up in rank. In that case, you test, um, you could become a sergeant, and from there you move up to take a test again, be a lieutenant, captain, or whatever the police department has uh, ranks they have in there, and you just move up through testing. Uh, but that's for you to decide uh, in your career what you want to do. I never wanted to be a sergeant. I never wanted to be a supervisor. My main goal was always to be a detective. So as a police officer, you can choose what you want to do. When you first start as a police officer, like I said before, you're going to start off as a patrolman or a patrol person. Uh, your day starts out, uh, you show up at the police department, you have what's called lineup. Uh, the sergeant gives out all the information that's pertinent to that day. Uh, anybody who's wanted, any assignments they want done, and uh, other things like that. From there, you leave, you go check your car, you go actually go to your locker, you go down to your locker room, get all your gear, go out, check your car, make sure it's all gassed up, make sure it's in perfect running order, then you head out on patrol. Uh, during patrol, your duties include answering calls, which sometimes it could be slow, you're, or you're going to call the call. The call. Uh, you might, if it is slow, you'll probably end up doing something like traffic enforcement or uh, some other kind of duty uh, that the sergeant assigns you to do, either a roadblock or something like that. Um, one of the main things you should do as a patrol officer is uh, check into your businesses, especially during the day. Um, go into your businesses, talk to the business owners, let them get to know you. Um, when you first start off, a lot of times you might be on different beats, but you just stop in wherever you can and you talk to people. Uh, talk to citizens, uh, interact with them as much as possible. Uh, stop your car and walk around. Uh, a lot of times uh, they suggest that we stop on the green and just walk the green and talk to the citizens and let them get to know you. Um, it's kind of officer friendly kind of thing and it works and people uh, love that, love that and they show respect for the police officers and it puts a good face on the police department. Um, as you go from call to call, uh, you'll be handling things like domestics, assaults, uh, minor things like maybe even a neighbor problem. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're handling, you go there with the same attitude and you try to do the best job you can. Uh, police work is very rewarding uh, as long as you go into it with the proper attitude. Um, I hate to use the cliche and if you ever take a, a go apply to department and apply for an interview and they ask you why you want to be a police officer, you're going to say to help people. And it, it's cliche, but that's what you're doing. You're helping people. 
and it's very rewarding when you're out there helping people and whether it's comforting them if they're injured, um, if they had just been robbed and comforting that and, and assuring them that everything's going to be all right. Uh, that's the most rewarding part of the job. Um, the other rewarding part is the people that you work with. Um, I absolutely adore all the guys I worked with and, and girls I worked with. It was a great camaraderie and once you're a police officer and you're in that group, you are always a police officer and it's an awesome feeling. Being a police officer, like I said, I did it for 25 years and in that time it takes a toll on you. It's a challenge to always go to work in an upbeat, motivated way, sometimes just having a bad day and you just have to get through those days and, and that's the biggest challenge of being a police officer. It's very hard to, to go to work and, and hold your emotions in and if you had a bad day with your spouse or your girlfriend or whatever and you go to work and you have to go to work like that and then deal with people like that but you have to be able to, to, to put that behind you and go do your job. It's very important. Uh, you have to realize that everybody does not love you out there. I mean, there are people that will come up to you and thank you for your service and everything, but there are people that just don't care and they're against you and you have to be able to, to shoulder that burden and just fluff it off and realize that that's, you just have to deal with that and go about your job. Um, you, it does take an emotional toll on you. You do see a lot of, especially when I was in uh, the crime scene unit, but even as a patrol officer, because they see the same things. Um, they're usually the first ones on the scene. They see dead children, uh, accident with someone seriously injured, and it's and they have help for you, and you should take that help if you can get it. Um, but it is it takes a toll on you, and that it's one of the biggest challenges that you have to deal with. Um, the court system, you, it seems like it's against you half the time. Um, I had to go to court quite a few times, and being on that stand is not fun. Um, but you have to be prepared for that. You have to prepare for yourself for that. It's very stressful. Um, defense attorneys will twist your words around and make you look foolish on the stand, but you just have to deal with that. It's, it's a challenge. I've always had uh, strong personal values when it comes to worth, work ethic especially. And as a police officer, you have to have a good work ethic and go out there and work hard. You know, you can, In my past, I've all, always been uh, donating my time to certain charities and stuff and soup kitchens and doing whatever when I was younger. And it, it helps you relate to the community better. And as part of my values, and I was able to relate better to the community by doing these things for charities and stuff. And uh, if you want to be a police officer, I think you should go out there and help your community and be involved in the community, not only the one you work in, but the one you live in. My advice to you as you pursue your career, police career, it's very important. There's, there, there's classes you can take. Um, you could do a ride along with a police officer just to get a feel of what it might be like and set your expectations. Um, you should try to lead a decent life. I know everybody does crazy things when they're kids and most departments forgive that, but try to do the best you can to stay out of trouble. Um, and a most, I think the most important thing in today's society these days is social media. And if you're on social media and posting stupid things, the police department is gonna find out. So uh, just stay the straight and arrow and just don't post anything crazy on social media because they do look at it and you could try to erase it, but they'll find it. <laughs> Police departments are very good at that. And uh, another thing, most, of police, most police departments today um, require at least two years of college. Not all of them, but uh, most of them do. And I suggest that you do go to college and get a couple of years of college, of college experience under your belt. Um, most people think they should go into criminology, crime scene, and study forensics or something like that. But if your career path that I explained before is more towards being a lieutenant, being a sergeant, being whatever, you should study management. And I was always told that even though I was never going to do it myself, I was told if you want to move up in rank, study management in college. Because that's what you become. You, you are a manager when you are a sergeant, when you are a lieutenant, when you have rank. So that's my advice to you. If, you're, if that's your career path and you do go to college, take management courses. Thank you.